Hey guys, so I am back after a long time. I've had a baby, I have a toddler, potty training, going through all of that stuff. So yeah, my life has been crazy lately, but I wanted to sit down and kind of make a little bit of a different video than what I've made before. Um, I saw a couple people on YouTube do this, but I don't see a lot of these military wife videos. And so to get into the video I'm making is a military wife tag. I don't remember the channel that I saw it on, but I will leave her information down below so you can go watch hers if you're interested. Um, I really liked hers, so it kind of inspired me to do it. Um, I'm just going to use the same questions that she used. So if you see me looking down at my phone, that's where they are. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this, and I kind of wanted to just share a little bit more about that side of my life. I haven't really talked about it a lot. Um, like on social media. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to make this video and I guess I'll just start reading them off. First question, how did you and your spouse meet? Um, my dad is retired from the Coast Guard and um, I think that's one of these questions, what branch of the military is your spouse in? The Coast Guard, just because that ties into this question. So um, yes, Coast Guard, and my dad is retired from the Coast Guard. He was on a ship. He was the captain of a ship in Rhode Island. And my husband had just gotten out of boot camp and that was his first station. So I saw him in the gym, didn't know who he was. And I kind of researched, did a little Instagram, uh, I don't know, detective situation stuff. And um, I found him, I asked my dad actually about him and he was kind of like, uh, yeah, I know him, why? And I told him, oh, I met him at the gym and all this stuff. So long story short, he ended up on my dad's ship and I met him at the gym and then realized he worked for my dad. And there's a lot of other little bits and bobs about that story, but that's for another video if any of you are ever interested. How old were you when you two met? I was 18 and my husband was 19. What branch of the military is your spouse in? Coast Guard? How long have we been together? We have been together for, we've going, we're going to be married for four years in October and I met him in February of that same year, so four and a half years-ish, almost. I mean, three and a half years, almost four years. Yes, almost four years. Question five, where are you and your spouse originally from? Like I said, my dad was in the Coast Guard. I have been in the military world my whole life, so I moved around a bunch. I don't really have a specific place I call home or where I'm from. I was born in North Carolina, so that's kind of what I just tell people for a short story. Um, and my husband was from Arizona, is from Arizona. Did you meet before or after he joined? We met after he joined. What is the hardest part about being a military wife? I would probably have to say how unpredictable it can be. Um, sometimes they get home at a certain time and then the next day they could get home at a completely different time. Um, it kind of just depends on their job, where you're stationed, you know, their, um, bosses. Uh, yeah, just probably how unpredictable it is. I'm used to moving around, so that's not really the that hard for me. Um, it's kind of second nature. I don't know what it's like to be in one place for that long. So yeah, probably just how unpredictable it can be. Has he ever been deployed? No, he hasn't, but he's going to OCS in January. So that will be our first um, deployment. Not really deployed because I wouldn't consider it a deployment, um, but it's a four month long school that I will not see him. Um, when we lived in Puerto Rico, which was our first um, moved together. We lived in Puerto Rico and for two and a half, almost three years, but I got pregnant with our son, Kylan. Um, and so because of the Zika, there's like a Zika virus that mosquitoes can carry down there. My doctor recommended that I come home or back to the States for 
the rest of my pregnancy, so I didn't see him that much, maybe a few times in that full seven months right until I gave birth. So I guess you can kind of consider that, you know, somewhat of a similar situation. Not really, but kind of. So yeah, that's the answer to that question. Uh, does he wear a uniform or civilian clothes? He wears both. Um, he's in a specific program right now that when he goes into the uh, military offices, he wears his uniform, and when he doesn't and he goes to the other side of that, he wears civilian clothes. How long have you been a military wife? Almost four years. Did you marry before or after he joined? After he joined. Did he wear his uniform when you got married? No, he did not, and I didn't want him to. I just wanted him to wear a regular suit. I didn't really want a lot of military stuff incorporated into it. No reason, just aesthetically, I wanted it to be kind of basic, kind of whatever anyone has for the most part. <laughs> so no, he did not. And do you live on base? We do not live on base. There is no base housing where we live, so we just found wherever we could and we won't be here for too much longer. So yeah, it's worked out pretty well. Okay, so that is all the questions for the military wife tag. Like I said, I will leave the girl's information down below that I found this video idea from. I really enjoyed answering these questions and sharing a little bit about that side of my life with you guys. I'm going to probably go into more detail on certain little things just because I do have a lot of uh, experiences and things that I would love to share with you guys from the beginning of my life until now, being a military child versus being a military wife. So if you guys are interested, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos and like this video if you did like it and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!